What is the rate of depreciation applicable on plant and machinery? Normally, it is 10%. A new plant and machinery is purchased worth rupees 2 lakh 50 thousand. No building is sold in the previous year. So directly we are calculating the depreciation on 7,29,000 at the rate of 10%. On new machinery purchased, that is on 2,50,000, you are supposed to calculate 20%. How much you will get? You will get 50,000. Hello everyone, I am Arun Kumar, lecturer in Department of Commerce and Management, Vidyashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence, Mysore. Dear students, welcome to this new session on unit number 1 that is depreciation which is there for 6th SEM BBA students who are studying under University of Mysore. So in the previous session we discussed about the meaning of depreciation, blocks of assets and also about the rates of different kinds of assets. So in this particular session we will be knowing about the format of depreciation and we will be solving few problems based on depreciation. So this is the format, so format for computation of value of depreciation. So WDV as on first of previous year, first we have to take that point, then add purchase of asset in the previous year, yes. Next if you total these two values, you will get some total. From that total, less sale of asset in the previous year, then you are going to deduct that sales value. After deducting the sales value from this total, you will get some balance. On this balance, you are supposed to calculate the depreciation. So on this balance, you are supposed to calculate the rate of depreciation. So how we will be calculating the particular value of the asset, this value, the value of the asset into rate of depreciation, whatever the rate of depreciation applicable on a particular asset, whether it's 5%, 10%, 15% based on asset. So this is the format for computation of depreciation of any particular assets under income tax purview. So moving on to know or to solve the problems. So problem number one, Compute the value of depreciation for the assessment year 2022-23. First point, WDV on 1-4-2022 rupees 5 lakhs and purchased new plant and machinery on 1-7-2021 is rupees 2 lakhs and sale of plant and machinery rupees 1 lakh and purchase of another new plant and machinery rupees 2 lakhs. So how to solve this? So computation of depreciation particulars amount amount, particulars amount amount. So what is the WDV on the first previous year? So the WDV on the first previous year is rupees 5 lakhs, is rupees 5 lakhs. So here you are supposed to take 5 lakhs. Next add purchase of plant and machinery, yes. They purchased a machinery in the previous year. See here, purchased new plant and machinery on 1-7-2021, rupees 2 lakhs. So add that value, rupees 2 lakhs. Next, and also purchase of another machinery. Yes, he purchased two machineries in the previous year. Here you can see purchase of another plant and machinery, rupees 2 lakhs. Yes, he purchased two new machineries in the previous year. So the value of another machinery is also rupees 2 lakhs. So add this 2 plus 2, 4 lakhs with 5 lakhs. How much you will get? You will get rupees 9 lakhs. How much you will get? You will get rupees 9 lakhs. See to that any machinery is sold in the previous year. Yes, there is a sale of plant and machinery of rupees 1 lakh. So deduct that 1 lakh rupees, sale of machinery in the previous year, rupees 1 lakh. So deduct that 1 lakh rupees, whatever the balance you will get, you will get 8 lakh rupees. How much you will get? You will get 8 lakh rupees. On 8 lakh rupees, you are supposed to calculate the rate of depreciation. So what is the rate of depreciation in this particular problem? So the rate of depreciation is not given. So what is the rate of depreciation applicable on plant and machinery? Normally it is 10%. So calculate 10%. So 8 lakh rupees into 10%. How much you will get? You will get 80,000. And here you have to give the additional depreciation. Yes, 
only with respect to plant and machinery we have to give additional depreciation so what is the rate of additional depreciation usually we give 20 percent as additional depreciation for the first year of purchasing of plant and machinery so what is the value of the plant and machinery which is purchased in the previous year that is rupees 2 lakh 2 lakh so we will be giving the additional depreciation only in the first year this WTV value machinery this is the old machinery 5 lakh rupees but this too is there now the new machinery is 2 lakh plus 2 lakh 4 lakh rupees on this we are supposed to give the additional depreciation of 20 percent so rupees 4 lakhs into additional depreciation of 20 percent so 4 lakh into 20 percent so how much we will get if you calculate you will get rupees 80 thousand if you calculate 20 percent on rupees 4 lakh you will get 80 thousand so what is the total depreciation here rupees 1 lakh 60 thousand so total depreciation is how much rupees 1 lakh 60 thousand so the value of depreciation is rupees 1 lakh 60 thousand so this is how we are supposed to calculate the value of depreciation so first we have to take the written down value of asset you will get the value and add if any purchase is there with respect to that asset add the purchase deduct the sale in the previous year the balance you will get on this balance you are supposed to calculate the rate of depreciation if the rate of depreciation is not given you should be aware about the rate of depreciation on each and every asset and the additional depreciation should be given only on plant and machinery so moving on to the next problem Problem number two, from the following details, compute the depreciation allowable as per IT rules for the assessment year 2022-23. So asset WDV as on 1-4-2021. Asset number one building, the WDV value is 7,29,000. Uh, furniture, rupees 80,000. Staff quarters, rupees 8 lakhs. Plant and machinery, rupees 6 lakh. In the year June 2021, the company has purchased a new plant and machinery for rupees 2,50,000. Yes, a new plant and machinery is purchased worth rupees 2,50,000. See, we are supposed to solve this particular adjustment with respect to plant and machinery. See here, rupees 8 lakhs is there, no? So, this adjustment is relating to this plant and machinery. So, the new plant and machinery belongs to the old plant and machinery block of asset. So moving on to the solution part. So first one we are solving with building. So block one building. So at the rate of 10%. Next WDV as on 1-4-2021. So what is the value of building as on 1-4-2021? 7,29,000. So 7,29,000. No building is purchased no building is sold in the previous year so directly we are calculating the depreciation on 7,29,000 at the rate of 10% so if you calculate at the rate of 10% so what is the value you will get you will get 72,900 what is the value you will get 72,900 so the value of depreciation is 72,900 next block 2 that is furniture so rate of depreciation is 10% so WDV as on 1-4-2021 what is the value here furniture rupees 80,000 so we will take 80,000 here so no furniture is purchased or sold in the previous year so here you calculate 10% on 80,000 you will get 8,000 so 8,000 is the value of depreciation next block 3 that is staff quarters so the rate of depreciation is 5% so WDV as on 1-4-2021 of staff quarters is rupees 8 lakhs. So 8 lakh rupees, 5% depreciation, you will get 40,000. So value of depreciation is 40,000. Next block 4 that is plant and machinery at the rate of 15%. Yes, plant and machinery is taxable at the rate of 15%. So WDV as on 1-4-2021, what is the value? Here you can see rupees 6 lakhs. So it is rupees 6 lakhs. So take 6 lakh rupees here. 
Add purchase of plant and machinery. Yes, new plant and machinery is purchased worth rupees two lakh fifty thousand. So add that, you will get eight lakh fifty thousand. How much you'll get? You'll get eight lakh fifty thousand. So no plant and machinery was sold in the previous year. So calculate tax on eight lakh fifty thousand at the rate of fifteen percent. How much you'll get? You will get one lakh twenty seven thousand. 500 you will get 1,27,500 and also you are supposed to calculate the additional depreciation on plant and machinery at the rate of 20%. So on new machinery purchased that is on 2,50,000 you are supposed to calculate 20% how much you will get you will get 50,000. So total these two values okay total these two values the total value comes to 1,77,500. Total the outer column value, you will get 2,98,400. That value is called what? Total value of depreciation. That value is called total value of depreciation. Moving on to the next problem, problem number three. The following are the particulars of assets at the beginning of the year. So, asset WDV and rate of depreciation is also given. Building non residential 10 lakhs 10 percent, building residential 5 lakh 5 percent, furniture 1 lakh 10 percent, plant and machinery 15 lakh 15 percent, motor car 1 lakh 15 percent rate of depreciation. Machinery worth rupees 5 lakh was purchased and installed on 14 7 2021. One machine was sold for rupees 45,000 during the year. Next, one residential building was destroyed by the fire during the year for which insurance company accepted a claim for rupees 60,000. So calculate the amount of depreciation for the previous year that is 31st March 2022. So by using this information, we are supposed to find out the total value of depreciation for the previous year. So in the solution part, block one, building that is non-residential, the rate of depreciation is given there itself. Here you can see non-residential 10%. So it is 10%. WDV as on is rupees 10 lakhs. So depreciation is 1 lakh. So take it to outer column. The value of depreciation 1 lakh. Because no building was purchased and sold with respect to that block of assets. Next block 2. Building residential at the rate of 5%. So residential at the rate of 5% value is 5 lakhs. So value 5 lakhs. Residential building destroyed. Yes, in this problem, the given that one residential building was destroyed by the fire during the year. Yes, and the insurance company accepted and gave the claim for rupees 60,000. So deduct whatever the claim amount given by the insurance company, that is 60,000. So balance how much you will get? Rupees 4,40,000. On 4,40,000, compute the depreciation at the rate of 5%, you will get 22,000 take it to outer column this 22 is the value of depreciation with respect to block 2 next block 3 furniture at 10 percent so it is given in the problem furniture at 10 percent so furniture at 10 percent WDV as on 1 4 2021 WDV as on 1 4 2021 is rupees 1 lakhs so less depreciation 1 lakh into 10 percent you will get 10,000 so take it to outer column 10,000 is the value of depreciation with respect to block 3. Next plant and machinery rate of depreciation is given in the problem that is 15 percent so WDV value is 15 lakhs purchase of new machinery yes a new machinery is purchased in the previous year here you can see machinery worth rupees 5 lakhs was purchased so Machinery purchased is 5 lakh. So only one machinery is purchased with respect to block 4. So add 5 lakh rupees, you will get 20 lakhs. So less machinery sold. Yes, a machinery was sold in the previous year worth rupees 45,000. So less sale of machinery of rupees 45,000. So balance you will get that balance is 19 lakh 55,000. So on this 19 lakh 55,000, you are supposed to calculate the rate of depreciation. So, if you calculate the rate of depreciation at 15%, you will get 2,93,250.
So along with 2,93,250, you're supposed to give additional depreciation at the rate of 20% on the new machinery purchased. So what is the value of new machinery purchased? It is rupees 5 lakhs. So 5 lakhs into 20% additional depreciation. How much you will get? You will get 1 lakh rupees. So total these two values, 2,93,000 plus 1 lakh. So it comes to rupees 3,93,000. 250. So this value of depreciation is with respect to block 4. Next block 5 motor car. So it is taxable. So the rate of depreciation is 15%. So WDV as on 1-4-2021 the value is how much motor car 1 lakh rate is 15%. Yes. So value is 1 lakh rate is 15%. So no motor car is purchased or no motor car is sold with respect to block 5. Depreciation 1 lakh rupees into 15%. So 1 lakh into 15% you will get 15,000. Take it to outer column. So now total the outer column. So add all the 5 assets value of depreciation. So here 1 lakh 22,000, 10,000 and 3 lakh 93,250 and 15,000. So totally it comes to rupees 5,40,250. So this is how we are supposed to calculate the value of depreciation and this 5,40,250 is called what? Total value of depreciation. So it is very easy to solve the problem under depreciation. If you know the format then easily you can solve the value of depreciation problems. So in the upcoming classes we will solve few more problems with respect to the topic depreciation. Until then, keep watching. Thank you all.